Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to be chatting all about the essentials that I take with me to every single photo shoot. I was in the middle of actually prepping for a photo shoot and I was like, you know what? I feel like I should share this so that other people don't make some of the mistakes that I've made. The first thing that I would pack is kind of my like basic camera equipment. So with that is like one, a tripod, which I have here. Um, it is a Mactrum tripod. I don't think it really matters the brand and personally I don't shoot with a tripod that much. Um, I'll bring it sometimes just in case as a backup but usually I feel like I can just get it like way more steady and use the angle I want myself. Um, usually my lens is pretty heavy so it ends up kind of tilting it and I hate that but for this shoot I don't need it but I would bring my tripod um, usually as a backup. I also obviously bring my camera so I shoot with a Canon EOS R. Um, it is a mirrorless camera. I have been a fan of mirrorless cameras like since they first came out. I remember researching all about DSLR and mirrorless and why they're better, all that stuff. I even wrote a blog post on it back in the day. Um, and I was so confused. I was like, why is everyone so picking DS DSLR? Because like mirrorless is just when you weigh the pros and cons, it's just better. Um, and then eventually everyone came around. So yeah. Anyway, I love the Canon EOS R. Um, it just like feels so great in your hand. The actual images are tack sharp. You're able to customize all the buttons so that you can like use it how you want so that I'm not playing with anything here on the screen while I'm actually shooting. I'm doing it all by hand, you know, twisting this, twisting, turning this for like my ISO and this here for my aperture. It's just like really, really helpful. Um, the lens I have on it, because I know people will ask, is a 24 to 105. So I know a lot of um, photographers use like millimeter and things like that I am usually shooting in a million different places like I am stuck sometimes in a small house that I didn't know was going to be small um so we usually rent out pier spaces um and you see photos of them ahead of time but sometimes the photos are shot with like a wide angle lens of which I don't currently have um and you get there and you're like oh gosh this is this is small so it's just really really helpful for me to be able to like have that range than to be with a set range because sometimes I am super tucked back in the corner and it's still not enough to get the type of shot I want so I literally only shoot with this everything that you will see on our website or on Instagram anything like that is all shot with this baby so that's one two um or I guess that's really two this is three is to always pack the battery backup which I have already charging here. Um, I literally just have one and one. I always like empty my memory card ahead of time too. Um, usually I've already like shot, edit, or shot obviously. I've already like edited all the photos, delivered the gallery like before I need to shoot again. So I really only have two batteries, one memory card. That's what works for me. Um, other like super essential things. Lint roller seems so weird, but like you need this. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten to a shoot and then we didn't like pack it. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And it takes so long to try and like, you know, pat off any like dust or pet hair. Like this is just, you need this, especially if you're shooting with models. Um, if you are just shooting only product, I would recommend taking some kind of like dust cloth or just like washcloth or something so that you can like clean it off. If you're not already like paying attention to that before you do your product shoots, like pay attention because it's going to be so much more work later in editing to remove every single tiny dot. It just, it sucks, which is why I, I live wrong, right? So then other thing to bring scissors, there's always extra like threads on like something that like it could be that the model is wearing or if it's the actual product is a garment. I need to have this because I want to make sure that it looks crisp. Other thing I bring is my flash, my flash and a stand for the flash. Um, and this photo shoot that I'm prepping for does not need flash. It is meant to be an all natural, um, like style of shoot, but I did once get to a pure space and once again, like the photos made it look so bright and I don't know if it was the time of day or it was like a tiny bit cloudy, but yeah, it was just like really, really dark inside and we were like, oh my gosh, this is, this is not going to work. I didn't bring my flash. Um, Anthony, our studio manager, literally had to drive all the way back to our house to cut this baby. Um, and then we were able to like make it work. It wasn't the intended like effect, but it came out 10 times better. So now I just, I bring it like seriously, just 
bring your flash with you just in case, even if it's not the style of shoe. Um, just saves time from having to run back home. Then the final thing that I bring is our steamer. Um, and this is because things get wrinkled upon transport, like all the time. Um, this one is pretty good, but like personally, I really like ironing and Anthony uses this. So I feel like he would have a better review of it, but like this is, this is what we use. We use it all the time. Um, I'll like add links down in the description. I don't see the name for it at the bottom. There's like a model number and stuff, but I don't see anything. We'll put the link. But I do know that you guys are probably going to want the link for this. I cannot recommend this enough. This is the newer, um, and it is not continuous. Um, it is trigger. Um, and I love it. I like, it works really, really well for me. I'll bring like a little white umbrella to like, just put at the top, um, to like diffuse it a bit. And yeah, it's pretty fantastic. But those are all of the essential things that I bring to every single shoot. Oh, one more thing. Motrin, Advil, whatever type of pain reliever that I also bring. And it's not just for me because if I end up getting like a migraine or really bad headache, like I don't want to be stopping, right? We're usually like paying for the space that we're in. I'm on like a clock. I got to keep going. So that's not just for me. It's also for the models, right? Because they're holding poses and like facial expressions for long periods of time. Sometimes they're just like moving their eyebrow up and like as silly as that seems like that is working all of these muscles here and it gives you a headache, especially if you're holding like a really awkward arch pose, like, no. So we have that on hand for them. Um, we also always try to bring water. If not, we just like literally Uber <laughs> and like Uber eats things there um, to make sure that they either have like breakfast or lunch if we're doing like a long day of shooting. Those are all of my essentials for a photo shoot that I always bring. Um, like I said before, I will put all the links down below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna be doing so much more of these. I feel like I can just get to know you guys more doing long form video and chatting like long form because that's just, that's who I am. I'm not a short talker type person. But anyways, I'll see you guys soon. I hope you like this video. We'll chat.